welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is my first day back from break. I am back. I don't have students this week, so it is just a get our lives together kind of week. We do have kids starting class tomorrow, but it will be on Zoom and then hopefully they come back in person, but who knows, life changes every single day. Anyways, I just wanted to make a short motive video today because it's Motivational Monday. So today I just wanted to say, your motivation should come from what you love and what I love to do is teach. And so my motivation definitely comes from teaching. It also comes from being a mom. And so what I wanted to share today are five pros of this pandemic. Okay, so five good things that came from this, right? We're always listening. We're always talking about what are the negative things that came from this pandemic. But I want to talk about five good things that came five good things about teaching online, five good things that came from this pandemic. So let's get straight into this video, five good things. Number one, this is sounds so simple and it probably is so simple. And some people are not gonna understand because you're not a teacher and you're like, what? But number one, why did, I can never get this straight, first of all. Yeah, there we go. Number one is I can go to the bathroom whenever I See, my kid's laughing, but he doesn't understand. As a teacher, you really have to plan these things. I get a planning period in the morning, and then I get a planning period at the end of the day. So in between, I really have to figure out when to go to the bathroom. And sometimes I have to, have to like email my colleagues and be like, anyone who wanna give me a restroom break? That's so embarrassing. Or I have to like see somebody in the hall and be like, hey, can I go to the restroom real quick? Embarrassing. Or I have to walk around my room really, 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 really fast because I have to go to the bathroom, but I can't. Up and down, up and down because I have to go to the bathroom, but I can't. That's so unhealthy. Like, so I think one, the po a very big positive out of this pandemic is that teachers can go to the bathroom whenever they want. Number two, since I can go to the bathroom whenever I want, I can drink as much water as I would like. So I have water, water, I'm just liquids all over the place because I don't have to worry about going to the bathroom. So I can drink water, water, water. With no care in the world. Number three. Three. Number three is I actually have time to grade. So as a teacher, I usually brought so much home. Grading, I brought home all the time. Now, don't get me wrong, I would bring it home, then I would look at it, then I would go to the fridge, then I would go look at it again, then I would go back to the fridge, and then it didn't get done. And then I was like, so behind the next day. But now, I have so much time to grade. Honestly, no. all jokes aside, I have, a ton of time to grade and I can look at these papers and grade them and make sure everything is right and take my time give it back fortunately to them. giving feedback back to them is a little bit harder because they're not in person but I have time and so that's super exciting and number four doo -doo -doo, number four number four would be my organization so when I have kids in class, I tend to, they would turn in papers, throw them on my desk, grade, throw it on my desk. Somebody stops by, gives me something, throw it on my desk. You literally couldn't see the color of my desk because of how unorganized it was. And all kinds of papers. I would organize it at the end of the day, but throughout the day, mess, 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 mess. mess. Now, my desk, it's actually not messy. Like, look at this, I'll show you. Look how pretty. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, so I have time to organize. Not only is my desk organized, but my whole life is like a lot more organized because I have all this extra time. And now I know some of you teachers that are watching this, you're like, you have extra time. This has been the hardest thing of my life. I understand that it has, I have extra time in different ways. Let me say it that way. I have extra time in different ways. So don't get me wrong, 
This is hard. I am right there with you about extra time and not having time and feeling so emotionally overwhelmed, but I have extra time in different ways. And one of those ways I use that time is to organize my classroom, my desk, my life, everything else. So number five. Number five would be, I get extra time with my son too. So he gets to be here. He's here right now. His class is on Zoom. He, I get to watch his class. So that's exciting. I get to watch his teachers teach him. And so that's, that's fun. I do enjoy having extra time with my little six year old. It drives me crazy sometimes. I have to constantly tell him to put his stuff up. He's telling me he's almost seven. Why don't you tell them you're almost seven? I'm about to be seven. He's about to be seven. Yeah. I need some ideas for what I should do for his birthday. I know COVID and everything, but I still want to have a theme. He's had Batman. He's had Where the Wild Things Spider Are. He has Spider Man before. He's had Fortnite. So I need some ideas. And, and I think um, the wild one. Yeah, Where the Wild Things Are. He had Sesame Street when he was one. So I need some ideas. Comment down below if you have some ideas for his birthday. It's in February, so we have time. All right, so those are five pros about this pandemic, honestly, about being able to teach online. I'm not an online teacher. Everyone knows that. I've told it, I've expressed it. It's not my thing, but it's getting better. Um, do I wanna do this forever? No, but it's getting better. So that's all I can say. All right, we'll see you maybe Teacher Tuesday tomorrow. Drink your water. Because you can now. So if you're a teacher, go ahead and drink all the water you would like because we don't get to do this often.